What is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I do lots of like shop with me, grocery shop with me, anything to do with Target, home goods, home decor, all of that fun stuff. So if you love videos like that, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today's video is an old fashioned, I don't know why I'm saying old fashioned, but I haven't done one in what feels like a really long time, a good old fashioned home goods shop with me and I'm really excited about it. We just still need so many little things for our new apartment. And also, I have an apartment update. Stay tuned for that. But I wanted to go ahead and shop today at Home Goods. I'm actually at a Home Goods I've never been to before. I've driven past this Home Goods a lot. It's like 20 minutes from my house, but I normally go to one that's a lot closer. So I'm really excited to check out this Home Goods. I'm hoping that they have a lot of really good stuff. I went to mine first, and all the stuff they had was like stuff they've had since before Christmas. And it just seems like they haven't put anything new out. So I decided to get back in my car and come to the Home Goods I had never been to. I figured it'd be a little adventure for me me and for you and I just wanted to go somewhere new because it's a new year so also happy new year guys I hope that you guys all have an amazing year you know the bar is set really low from last year so hopefully it can only go up from here no jinxies but yeah I'm really really excited for the new year so I just wanted to wish you all a happy new year like I said I do have an apartment update so if you've been following the saga we were supposed to move into our new apartment on January 15th then they told us that our new apartment actually wasn't gonna be ready until the middle to end of February. So we were gonna have to move into a temporary unit until we could move into our real unit. So we decided to push our move back until January 23rd to move into a one bedroom temporary unit until we could move into our two bedroom real unit. That wasn't supposed to be done, like I said, until the middle end of February. So then we pushed back our move, that way we could like only live in the temporary unit for like less than three weeks. But now they called us today with actually maybe a good update. Um, our apartment is going to be ready sooner than they thought. They were trying to see if we could push back our move even more, that way we don't have to move into the temporary unit because it turns out that our apartment is actually gonna be ready the first week of February, which is great news, but we're still gonna have to move into the temporary unit as of now. They said they're gonna do everything they can to try to get our apartment done, that way we don't have to move into the temporary unit because they don't want us to have to do that. They don't want us to have to like move, also they have to pay for our second move, that was something we like negotiated with them and I'm sure they don't wanna do that either. And I'm sure with like all the leases and everything, it's probably just a big headache for them to like move into like two different apartments within like two weeks. So they said they're gonna do everything they can, so I'll definitely keep you updated with that, but please cross your fingers, we really, really wanna move into our real unit, obviously not a temporary unit. But regardless, we will make the best of it, we're not really gonna unpack anything, Thing. we're just gonna like bring our couch up and eat takeout and I'm sure it will be glorious and fun no matter what we decide to do but of course we'd rather just move one so keep your fingers crossed for that that would be so amazing because it was like so many highs and lows so far but I don't have any expectations I'm planning to move into the temporary unit and I'm still really excited about it but I just wanted to give you that update but I don't want to blab on because I'm really excited to go into this home goods and see what they have so let's go ahead and head into this new home goods and let's go shopping so right in the front by the opening they have like all the outdoor stuff these chairs are really really pretty they're 199 they don't have a cushion though I definitely think they should come with a cushion um, but these are really pretty I've actually seen these at my home home goods as well and I really like these these are super nice they honestly have a bunch of like mishmash stuff this table is nice just a wood pedestal table with a black base and then they have some like different outdoor chairs i actually really like this set it's tommy hill figure outdoor set three pieces for 300 brian and i actually both really like this but i do kind of wish that the table was a little bit taller but these lean back so i'm pretty sure it would be like the perfect height but we really like that so that's really cute but they have a lot of different outdoor stuff like benches different types of chairs they also have these like egg chair sort of things for 79 each and then back here they actually have it's like an outdoor bar stool it's like made out of like a plasticky woven type material and then has like rattan accents it's really pretty it is 130 i've actually seen these on the website so i'm happy to actually see one in person i was considering if they came in stock online getting them in white for our kitchen but now that i've seen it in person I think that it's just too outdoorsy. This is quite pretty. I like that. I like the base. 
but let's be real I need another fake plant like I need a hole in my head which won't stop me from buying them but I'm in love with the new ones from Target the new like spring line there so unless I see something like really jaw-dropping I'll probably be getting stuff from there this is actually really pretty I like the basket a lot and it has like fake dirt and it is $40 that's actually kind of I kind of like that stone gray planters are definitely in but yeah tons of plants and even colorful pots for spring this like blue colored glass is very popular these like tall you can use this as like a tall vase it's such a good price it's only $7.99 and that's probably like two feet tall it's really really pretty so i actually want to get wine glasses like this honestly like even bigger these are like the big balloon wine glasses i want like the really really huge ones there's like a really nice brand i think it's called like rydell or something um that brian's stepmom told us to get so i'm gonna be looking into those um but they do have a lot of like awesome glassware options here we actually got some glasses for our apartment here it was like regular everyday glasses and they were like tommy bahama ones that are nice but yeah we're trying to get rid of like all of our mismatch stuff and get stuff that is nice and matches okay so these are fun these are like placemats i think i want to put placemats on our table but i don't exactly know like what kind like of course i gravitate towards something like that but i think that those might be like a little bit too heavy and they're like very matchy matchy with our chairs which i don't necessarily want and then they have these these are really cool i feel like they would give the table some texture they have them in a couple different colors they have them in like more of a brown color which could be cool i am really like gravitating towards the white ones you get eight of them so i could do like three on the countertop and then like four on the table i'm not sure they are a good price though they're only 7.99 for eight of these so like a dollar a piece which is pretty good oh cute they have like super like valentine's day ones those are nicole miller that's really cute it's 12.99 for the four of them and it looks like they have a couple different styles these ones are more like ruffly hearts and more like plain ones with ruffle on the side and then they have those lacy ones some more of the woven ones they have a couple different styles and then they also found those other ones that i found in black so they have a lot of different options but i think i'm gonna go with these ones if you guys remember in our black friday haul i showed the new pots and pans we got and they are like black and gold speckled ceramic with gold handles and I want to try to find stuff that matches with that, but like bigger. Like I really want like a Dutch oven so we can make soup. And I haven't seen it at any of the stores I've been to, but I have seen some other ones that I really like that are right next to me. So I might actually pick up this Dutch oven here. It's really pretty. Let me show it to you. So this is it. It is ceramic and it's really big. It's nice. It has like, I think this is like sort of rubber so it wouldn't get too hot. Same with on the sides and then ceramic but it's nice and big could definitely make like a bunch of soup in there it is pretty lightweight um there is not a price on it so i don't know exactly how much it is but i could always compare it to one of those up there to get like a general idea but if i had to guess it's probably like 30 or 40 dollars they do have some more expensive ones down there they have a stob one which is 179 dollars and then they have a lodge brand one which looks those two look a lot more like um la crusade so those are super nice but I'm not sure I want to spend that much money. I feel like that's something I could like register for like when we get married and get like a really nice huge La Crusade one. But for now, I think something like this will do the job. Just kidding. I found the price. It is $30. So I was right about that. But yeah, I guess I had my hand over the price sticker. These are perfect for little charcuterie boards or just for little M&Ms. Love having stuff like this on the counter. We always have like little candies and stuff. So those are really cute. Um, but they're ramekins, so you could do like you could bake in them, you could do like creme brulee or whatever you decide to do. But they have a bunch of different sizes, all really good prices too. Like this one's only $2.99, really similar to stuff they have in the dollar spot, but they just have more options here. And I think these are really cute, and I think I'm gonna get the pink ones. <laughs> this is so cute and nice, and it has a stand, it's only $10, it's wood with marble. Definitely picking this up, it's literally like maybe 15 pounds it's super heavy super nice quality and i'm definitely gonna get this they also have these really really cute oh they're metal i thought that maybe they were glass little like cake stands um the color is like identical to my sweatshirt i absolutely love this it is ten dollars and i just love the color they also have it in white and a really like pale pink color obviously i'm gravitating most towards the like most ridiculously colored one but this is really really cute they also have these pretty rattan chairs rattan i don't know 
I get yelled at no matter which way I say it, but they are $99 each. They have two of them and they come with like a pretty white cushion. So those are cool. When someone just moves your cart without asking or like doesn't even say excuse me. Okay. The only thing I don't like is they look like really bulky, like the bottom of them, but I do like them. So we also need to get a coffee pot and a little like pour over thing. I already found a like an electric coffee grinder and I'm thinking I'm gonna get this teapot. It's $20. I like how it looks like natural wood. It's actually like rubber and then the stainless steel. I think that's really nice and it's a good price. So I think I'm gonna get this one. So like I was saying, this is my first time in this home goods and it's really small. I probably won't come back to this home goods, but I just wanna try a different one. But honestly, I feel like people are just in such a bad mood ever since Christmas. Like, even people in this store are like not the friendliest. And they're just, I don't know, people just seem mad since the holidays are over. But you know, you gotta cheer up. It's New Year's, but I'm just making my round, making my way downtown, making my way around the store. And I don't know, I don't like this home goods. It's just too small and the vibes are not good. These tiny rattan chairs are so cute. They're literally tiny, they're for children. $40, also $40. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I hope this stuff is like still very accessible when we have kids because I want all of it. My butt would literally break these chairs in 0.5 seconds, so. Someday. Came over here to look at oversized decorated pillows. They are definitely a much better deal here. You can get like two for the price that I almost paid for one at Target. I like these ones. I like how they're like really soft. I'm trying to decide if I want to get gray because we are doing like some gray vibes in the bedroom. These are also kind of cool, but Brian would literally murder me. So there's a bunch of options for like white ones. These ones are also really cool. They have some like stripey ones that could work. I really like these ones. They have like a ruffle. That's really nice. Maybe I'll do these ones actually because they are the most plain and the ruffle is like a different detail. So it's $50 for the two of them. And these will go on like the back back of the bed. Might keep looking, but those are definitely a really strong contender, but they do have lots of options. These ones are cool too. The cover does come off, so that's nice, and it has like a little bit of a ruffle around the edge. They are still soft, and I don't know, so those ones are cool too, actually. These ones are $40 for two, so that's even better price. There's definitely some good options here for sure. That looks really similar to the bedding that I got, like the waffle look, but I think I wanna do something like a little bit different. But yeah, there's definitely options. Because this home goods is a lot smaller than my normal home goods, I feel like the options are pretty limited. They still have a lot of good stuff. Like I literally say that as my cart is full in front of me, but I don't know, it's definitely more limited than like other home goods, like in the bath section and stuff, like certain sections seem pretty limited, but still really, really good stuff. And I'll definitely be doing a haul at the end, so stay tuned for that. I really like this desk. The true color is not showing up on camera. It is more of like a wood tone with gold. Really cute and simple. I like that a lot. This is a cool like bistro set. It comes with all four stools. I don't see a price on it, but it's like a rusticy gray color. And then the four stools like slide run underneath and it has some like storage as well. That's pretty neat. Good for like a covered outdoor area, I think. It doesn't, it actually feels really nice. I like that. Looks like they're having some clearance on some candles. Might give a couple of these a smell and maybe pick up some Clarence candles. These ones are 450, which is a great deal. And then this bigger one is seven, which is a really good deal. But I need to give them all a little whiff. Getting more into like the furniture. I've seen that at my home goods. Maybe they moved it here because it didn't sell. It's nice, but now it's like kind of dinged up. That's like the thing with home goods furniture is like a lot of the times you have to really look at it because it gets super dinged up, which is sad. These are really cute. They are mismatching. They're 200 each, which isn't a bad price because they're like solid wood, but I wish they were the same color. I actually really like those, but 
they don't match. Not too big of a furniture section. We do still really need a coffee table, which I'm hoping to find on one of my trips here. But at this one, they have a lot of like accent tables. That seems to be like really popular right now. They have a lot of them at this Home Goods. A lot of like gold accent ones. They have ones with like mirror tops, glass tops, silver ones. So if you're looking for something like that, I would definitely check out Home Goods because they're all really good price. They're only like 40 or $50 or less. Something I really want to get for the new place is a runner like in the kitchen. But we measured it and the kitchen's a little bit weird. The way that the island is placed it, I just don't think it would look right for it to like end at a certain point or like go on further than the island But I really really want one So if not for in front of like the sink in between like the island and the kitchen Then maybe like all the way down our front hallway, but we'll see this one is really pretty It's like that Safa Vieja <laughs> brand that I talk about a lot They have like so much different furniture and it's all like really popular and really really cute like trendy styles But they do have a bunch of other ones too. This one's pretty I just don't know. It's like one of those things where we're going to have to wait until we get in there to actually see like what's going to look good and everything. So this is just one of those things where I'm just going to have to wait and see even more little accent tables. And I've already walked past a ton too. They just have so many. I like these ones. I like this a lot. Like this look of like the linen kind of. Brian does not like it. They have it here in navy blue too. Those are cool if you do like blue or could work for outside as well. And then they have a couple like huge planters. I like them both. They're super nice. They have a couple different sizes, but everything's just kind of like mishmashed, which is the fun part about home goods because you never know what you will find. They have a couple cool pieces of artwork. I've been wanting to get something like that. I've been showing those in videos for like a few months. But they do have some bigger ones, so I really like that one. And then I also really, really like that one. I actually like this one even better, I think, because I like the color of the frame. This one is $50. I think they both are. Yeah, both $50. The frames are like a little bit different, but I like this one a lot. Okay, some more like darker stuff. This is cool. I like the black mixed with like the lighter colors. Those are really nice. They have a couple like planters and stuff. I'm not quite sure what that is. Looks like maybe like a headboard. And then just some more planters. And then they have a couple of like these benches and stuff. I always thought I wanted one of these. I'm glad I never got one or found one that I love because we would have nowhere to put it in our new apartment. And just more little tables and stuff. This could be made really cute with some like nice baskets. Those types of organization things are always super helpful. Oh my gosh, this arched mirror is so nice when i tell you i love this i love this it kind of looks like uh, not really but like a less expensive version of the our house ones our house i don't exactly know how you say it but they're big and arched like this i absolutely love the shape of this one i was thinking about selling the one that i have right now like the big stand-up mirror and getting something different so this could be a contender for sure. I had to dig, but down there at the bottom, it says 129. I just love this. I love the shape of it. I love the gold. It's like the perfect size. <gasps> I want it. I also really like this mirror. It's just different. So that one's cool, but it's, it's pretty small. And then this one's really nice too. It like almost looks frameless, but it does have like a really thin wood frame. And this one is 100 super tall it's just really really pretty and i'm thinking i want to sell the one i have and get something that doesn't have a frame around it similar to this or the arched one okay this is really cool too it's like another framed one and it has a gray frame so that might work for our bedroom that's actually really cool too brian really likes the other one as well but i'm going to send him a picture of this one here is the two of them side by side I think this one would work really well, well either honestly, for the master and then one for like somewhere else. I'm sending pictures to Brian as well. This one is 60 and this one's 50, but I just like them so much. I just think they're so cool. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love this one. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is really cool. They have a Thomas Kincaid painting. They actually have two. Those are so nice and it's only $60. Thomas Kincaid 
if you didn't know, is a really, really famous um, artist for Disney, and his paintings are really, really cool. I like recognized it right when I saw the style. I really, really like that, and it's only $60. And then these are cute too. And like I just showed you that Walt Disney one, which I really love. One of my sister's birthdays is next week. And I just found like such a perfect gift for her. I can't show it because she watches my videos and I don't want her to see it, but I'm really excited to send it to her. She's gonna love it. I avoided all of these aisles because I need another like decorative pillow, like I need a hole in my head. So I decided it'd be better to just avoid them. These are cute. They are heart-shaped coasters. They're actually really heavy. You get four of them for $7.99. Really, really cute for Valentine's Day. Guys, pineapple. If you know, you know, but that's really cute. And it is $12.99, I like that. There's a lot of really cute little plants in the checkout aisle. Definitely home to many hidden gems. Okay, so I just paid and I just wanted to show you what I got. So I did end up getting this one. I just loved it so much. I did leave the gray one because I'm not 100% sure I wanna do like that gray of an accent in the room because I wanna keep everything really light, but I did pick up this one for $50. And then I also got this laundry basket. It was $40. Sorry guys, the shadows are like so bad. I got this like two pack of drying racks, like a beige colored one, super cheap. Both of them for $5.99. And then I also got a two pack of the mini mitts. We desperately need new ones of these. Ours got ruined on Christmas day from this like Christmas morning breakfast item that we were making. So I'm to get some new ones of those and I just got them to match the little drying racks. Also picked up this coffee grinder. We just need one of these because Brian wants to start doing pour over again and we don't have a coffee grinder anymore so I decided to pick up a new one. This one was only $12.99. Seems nice enough so I decided to pick this up. Then I decided to grab these two little Valentine's Day candy dishes or whatever. Also perfect for a charcuterie board. I got them both for $5.99. They were just so cute. I couldn't leave them. They're so perfect for like M&M's, Hershey Kisses, stuff like that so I wanted to go ahead and pick these up. Then I decided to grab this like non-stick like baking sheet for brownies and stuff. Um, we have like the cookie sheets and the cupcake pan that match this exact one. So when I saw this, I knew I wanted to pick it up. I also want to get like a bread loaf pan and stuff. I just want to have everything matching, but this is such good stuff. And I picked up the other stuff at Target for more. This was 10 bucks and I'm excited about it. It's like a champagne gold color. I love it. I went back and forth like for if I wanted to get these and then I just figured I would buy them and then return them if I ended up not liking them. If you don't buy it when you see it the first time, you just won't get it. So I wanted to just pick these up. I'm not sure how Brian is going to feel about them but for eight of them it was seven bucks so decided to just get them rather than be sorry that I didn't and then the last thing I decided to pick up was this like rolling pin it was like marble it comes with a stand it's really heavy it's super nice I think it was ten dollars yeah it was ten dollars and I just love it I have like a Ray Dunn Christmas one but like I'm not gonna want to keep that out all year round just to like be able to roll stuff and we've been making like pizzas and stuff and it's good to have for like cookies and all that sorts of stuff so I decided to pick up a regular one because I'll probably honestly be getting rid of my Ray Dunn one I just I'm honestly never used it until recently and I don't want to have to like keep it at hand all year so I wanted to get one that we can use all year round Alrighty, you guys well that is gonna be it from me today I hope you loved seeing everything that I got today at home goods definitely some good finds I'm glad that I came here it was just nice to like finally see what this home goods was all about I just didn't realize how small it was gonna be definitely the smallest home goods I have ever been in but it was just so nice my home goods I went there first and like they just had all the same stuff that they had like since before Christmas and it was like super cleared out so I just wanted to try another one and it was really fun but that is gonna be it for me today if you love this video definitely make sure you give it a big thumbs up please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet I have a lot of people that watch regularly but are not subscribed so it's free doesn't cost you anything it would make my day hit the subscribe button but like I was saying that is gonna be it from me see you next time bye guys